Who's to blame for climate change? When you burn fossil fuels, you get two main products. Heat, which powers useful things, and carbon dioxide, a colorless, odorless gas. When the sun delivers heat to this planet, carbon dioxide makes it harder for that heat to escape back into space. While we don't know exactly how much a given amount of carbon dioxide warms the planet, it's basic physics that over time, more CO2 in the atmosphere means a hotter Earth. Americans are responsible for a greater share of the climate problem than any other nation. In 2009, 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide went into the atmosphere for every single American alive. 1,445,204,000 metric tons total. But global warming is, of course, a global problem. In the last 10 years, China overtook the U.S. as the biggest producer of CO2. But the U.S. has been at this for longer. If emissions stayed at 2009 levels, it would take China 94 years to catch up to the U.S.'s cumulative CO2 production. But there's an answer to climate change. Actually, three answers. One, a global binding emissions treaty to reduce emissions fastest in rich countries. Two, massive support for zero emission technology, including solar, wind, and eventually next generation nuclear. And three, a smarter grid that can integrate this diversity of energy sources. We've been deadlocked for decades, but once the world gets serious about this, we could end up in a virtuous cycle, or at least that's what our planet hopes.